Ever wondered why fasting, keto, and all of these non-mainstream diets have found people tremendous success on their weight loss journey? We've got one for, word for you, insulin. Now, people don't understand this. There are people who are like, oh, insulin levels don't matter. It's only calories in, calories out. Calories do matter. Yes, of course, I'm not neglecting that. But weight loss is not just a calories in, calories out process. The level of insulin determines whether your body's burning fat or whether your body is storing fat. When insulin levels are high, you are going to be storing fat. When insulin levels are low, you are going to be burning fat. And on my weight loss journey for myself, I found tremendous success with diets like keto, with intermittent fasting and so forth. Now. Disclaimer here, not everyone has the capability of doing fasting. So if you are an intermittent faster or you are a prolonged faster, you do both, welcome. You're part of a rare group of people that's able to do this. Fasting is the fastest way to get your insulin levels down naturally. Now, I'm gonna explain the process of weight loss. And the process of weight loss happens in two steps. And when I say weight loss, I should be more specific. The process of burning fat happens in two steps. Number one, you burn fat through lipolysis. Lipolysis is the process of cleaving the fat. And number two, you burn, you use that burnt fat or that cleaving fat in fatty acid oxidation. So those are the two steps, lipolysis followed by fatty acid oxidation. So with lipolysis, that is only triggered when insulin levels are low. How do you get your insulin levels low? Like I said, the fastest way is through fasting about 12 hours per day or more. That's why it's recommended that you don't eat three hours before bed unless you're doing an OMAD because that's different because you're fasting throughout the day. You wanna give your body enough time in a state of fasting to bring your insulin levels down. And your insulin levels go down when there is no glucose in the bloodstream. Another way to bring down your insulin levels is eating high fiber foods. Why? Because the gut microbiome. The gut microbiome plays a role in our whole entire hormonal system. Another way to bring your insulin levels down is eating healthy foods. You know, eating the leafy greens, the salads, eating whole foods, eating things high in protein, eating things low in carbohydrates because carbohydrates will bring up your insulin levels. Now the safety spot when it comes to weight loss and eating carbs, I would say eating between about 50 to 70 grams of carbs per day. You can eat less if you're doing keto, that's fine. That's total carbs for those of you who wanna eat carbs. I know people who've been fat adapted, so they've been in ketosis for a while, they can get away with eating 100 grams of carbs or less. But there's a reason why eating low carbs help. Why? Because you're bringing those insulin levels down. So when the insulin levels are down, Another way to bring it down is eat less frequently because every time you eat, you bring up your insulin levels. Now to reduce that spike of insulin levels going up, you wanna eat fat. Fat is the number one macronutrient that will bring your insulin levels lower, keeping in mind your calorie number. And number two is protein. So fat will spike your insulin levels the least, protein is the second least, and obviously the highest would be carbohydrates. So when your insulin levels are low. Basically, lipolysis is triggered. Lipolysis is the process of breaking fat into one triglyceride to three fatty acids. So a fat molecule is composed of one triglyceride to three fatty acids that's cleaved up. And then that fatty acid is available in the bloodstream. Now, when insulin levels are high, those triglycerides leave the cell and when insulin's high, they come back to the cell and they get remobilized as fat. We want those triglycerides not to be broken down. We want them to be used as energy. So that's when step two comes in, fatty acid oxidation. And you will get that through exercise or through diet. You Basically, the goal of weight loss is that you want to be burning fat while you are resting. That's the key. To have, turn your body into a fat burning machine. And to do this is to eat the correct foods and or to fast if you are into fasting. Like again, fasting isn't recommended for everyone. And please be aware, the power with this is that you have to have balance. And the reason why diets like keto and stuff may fail for some people is that 
They use keto to lose weight and then they don't know how to eat properly outside of keto. That's why I think it's important while you're doing your weight loss journey to learn how to eat a proper diet, to learn how to maybe go on ketosis sometimes and maybe going out of ketosis, learning how to eat healthy whole foods, avoiding processed foods, avoiding eating things that come out of a box unless it's a whole food like rice or what have you. So that's the goal of weight loss. You want to put your body in a state where you're becoming a fat burning machine. There are other ways to drop your insulin levels. I noticed that when I was wearing my continuous glucose monitor and I would come out of the sauna, my glucose levels would dip. So there's something with the sauna in that. I've learned recently that going with a sauna, like staying in the sauna for like 30 minutes and then having a cold shower can also help do some neat things when it comes to fat loss. But at the end of the day, This is all about being in a state of fat burning. Yes, I believe in counting your calories. Some people have been successful with weight loss without counting calories. Me personally, I need to keep track of my calories because I know I have struggled with binging in the past. Anyway, thank you so much for making it this far in the video. If you got this far, just put in a bunch of star emojis. Sorry for disappearing, guys, but I'm trying to make a comeback. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.